guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought we would um, finish up the decorating of the lap book. And I'm going to um, ask for forgiveness for my hands. I was messing around with some distress inks this morning and I can't get it all off yet. So some hands look like I've been digging around in the dirt. And I haven't. It, it's ink. <laughs> So they look pretty nasty. Let me scoot this over. So I'm going to start in here. So I basically just pulled out a bunch of things in my, I have like a little, it's, well, it's like a strawberry box that I got at Sam's Club. And it's just filled with all little extra little bits of things that haven't gotten used. And I just pulled out some things. So there is a menagerie of labels and definitions and some washi tape and some Denison labels and just little scraps of paper and stamps and some little wax seal things, some number codes, you know, all kinds of stuff. So we can add a little bit more interest to, to our pages here. Put this about right here. Zoomy, zoomy. And just a little bit. So right here, I think I'm going to want to put um, some labels. This is a nice big envelope and this is a pocket. And these are also pockets and so um, I was thinking about perhaps adding some um, little extra labels. Oh, that's two stuck together. No wonder. Um, these are little punch outs that um, was sent to me. They're like little, you know, little tab punch outs. And I have not thought past basically just getting everything out of the stash. So bear with me here for a second. I think I like this on um, on this brown thing. But what do I want to put inside, right? Um, I don't know what will fit behind here and be able to be seen through the... Uh, that's not going to work. Mm -mm. Hope everybody is doing okay. And I hope you survive the weekend and all that fun stuff. Um, I've been working and trying to get my house back in order. Um, most of the kitchen is is put back together. There's a couple of things that need to be done, but you know how it is. It's just it's just a mess until it gets all put back together. So you know. So that's what I'm, I'm still working on that. Still working on it. I'm going to put the word Odyssey. Why? I don't know. Because that, that's what fits. Is that awful? Because that's what fits. Uh, doesn't matter. Let's see, now let me get my little, not those, not those, these little tweezers here to kind of, center the word somewhat in there and I want this about right there cute all right so now I want something on this big tab too and I do have some of these labels that I've made. Lists and to do and plans. Let's see what kind of looks decent. The green's too close. Let's do the blue one. The green just blends in too much and the red stands out too much. It's like the porridge. One's too hot and one's too cold and one's just right. Well, that's this one. Regardless of what it says on the tab. My horrible hands. <laughs> I feel so bad. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. 
So I would also like something at least on this pocket here, this tealy color pocket, and also something here. I've got some string. I think it would be nice to have some um, some string maybe through the little, little loop here through the whole reinforcer area just for a textile element make everything look a little different now this is real busy so because it's busy I want to add something maybe that's not quite so busy and but something kind of small mm -mm -mm. let's see I kind of buried everything here. I guess I could do a definition. I don't know if one's going to fit. What's on here? Anxiety, anvil, antitoxin. Okay, those probably aren't going to work. Novelty, Novocaine. That, that's okay. We could, we could do that. We could do novelty and Novocaine after nudge. It goes to nugget. Have you guys noticed, well those of you in the United States at least, that when you um, see like a Burger King commercial that talks about, you know, they talk about their food, right? And they always have their their nuggets, whatever whatever price they are, I don't know. And But anyway, they don't even say chicken nuggets anymore. It's, it's just nuggets. I noticed that not too long ago, I was, I was, I was so, so there's a picture of a chicken and they're calling it nuggets, but they're not calling it chicken nuggets. And so that's, a, it's a little um, suspicious. Oops. So yeah, I'm a little suspicious about the, the nuggets, the nuggets. You know, this needs a number code, I think. So let's just grab one of those or we're gonna be here all day. I am working on a project, a, a new concept journal, and hence the, hence the dirty hands, right? And so I will be trying to finish that up ASAP along with, you know, the 50,000 other things I, I do at the same time. Yeah, I... I am a, you know, too many irons in the fire kind of, I've always been like that. Always, 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 always. It, sometimes it serves me well, but most of the time I just, you know, you got, you can't, you can't finish everything at once. You can't give everything justice to finish it, you know, all at once. You got to give one thing or another pri I'm gonna do it here. priority at some point if you're going to finish anything at all. So that's the trouble I run into. I don't know if you guys do the same thing. I know some of you are probably like really, really good and you just start one thing at a time, just, just one thing. You do that thing and then you, you know, then you move on to the next thing. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. That would be so awesome if I could do that. I have never been able, I always finish everything, unless I lose interest in it, um, but usually everything gets gets finished. Or if it's going to be, is this not a, I thought this was a sticker. Is this not a sticker? Is this just a piece of paper and I'm trying to peel off the back? Oh my gosh, good job, Nick. Good job. We'll just use this one instead. Um, yeah, everything gets finished, you, you know, usually. I just, I just sometimes I sabotage myself by, uh, uh, what well, they say, enabling the squirrels, I should say. Enabling the squirrels. Okay, here is a little fragile handle with care. I'd like to put something on this, our little magnetic thing. You know, the thing. Does that fit? Oh, that looks kind of cool, don't you think? I think so. So this is just a little ex libris label that I don't even know where I got this. 
who knows? Somebody sent it to me or came in an ephemera pack. You know, it just... Stuff gets stashed in the stash and... There we go. I don't know, it's just a little little man looking at some books at a bookshop, so... That's kind of cool. All right. So, I also... I am going to do like a little, I think a little Velcro tab on this at some point, but I think these need something. Something, something. Here's these, and here is that. That's kind of cool. We could, we could work with those. And I think I'll do the red label on top because um, there's a red label here so I don't want to maybe do red red I want to do I want to do, do this over here I want to do red then green then red so yes yeah, so speaking of irons in the fire I have so many emails and Etsy conversations to go through that I haven't gotten to yet. I mean, just scads. Scads of them. Um, it's going to take me a minute. And I'm not the kind of person that can just sit down, you know, for long periods of time. I just, I don't. I don't sit down for very long. So it's kind of torture to have to sit down for too long. So I, you know, I do a few and then I kind of, I got to get up and, you know, move around. So this is just a little copyright little label and I'm going to pop this puppy. Down here, kind of catty corner on our little glassine, our little envelope or pocket flippy flap thing here. That looks lovely. Lovely, lovely. I was trying to separate everything to see what I got. Hiding stuff from myself. This one. I think this one actually is a sticker. Some of these are stickers because I printed them on the white full sheet. Yes. The Avery shipping labels, you know, the full sheets. And um, I'll do it. And they make great they make great little stickers. Gotta cut them out, but you know. It's work. So here's some stamps too. I have some some stamps. They're real ones, not printed out ones. And here is a little portrait of Poe, one of my washi tape. And there's Vincent. Alright, so here's this. Do I want anything up here? I do. Something, something goes up there. I think what I will do is this little label. It says, it says date in like a little Dymo font. If I don't drop it. So I know that there are emails that I have literally missed from, you know, like a week or two ago. I know there, I know there is in there. I'm going to have to just go through um, and like do some searching because it's like literally if I don't, if I don't try to clean out my, the inbox, oh, at least once every couple of days, like six, seven hundred emails will pile up. It's really difficult to like navigate through that kind of stuff. It's killer. It is killer. Okay, is this a sticker? Is it a sticker? Is it a sticker? Uh, no, it's not a sticker. Okay, stop picking at it then, Nick. I'm going to glue it on the little uh, library card pocket that we put on in the last segment. And I'm just going to kind of catty corner it right here just for some nice nice bright red happening there 
and I, I like to leave some negative space, as crazy as that sounds. Um, I do like to leave some negative space sometimes, so I'm going to do that. And I think I'm going to do a stamp or two. Ooh, here's purple. It's like a berry, berry color. And this one's like teal. I think those would be gorgeous together. Yes, yes, yes. It's like, to me, cleaning out emails is like, you know, cleaning out the refrigerator. It is not one of my favorite chores at all. And I've had this email for eons. And as much as I unsubscribe to stuff, it's like you still have to end up unsubscribing again. I mean, you go to the website one time and it's like you're resubscribed whether you, you know, signed up or not. So, I'm sure you all understand understand what that is. I'm going to leave that because this is a nice big pocket. And, you know, we'll be putting something something in there, I'm I'm sure. I'm sure. And this will be left for pictures and uh, little captions. And then here we have a back-to-back -back little pocket thing. And I'm going to grab a Vincent, I think. Hello, Vincent, you troubled man, you genius troubled man. And I'm going to, this is a sticker. This is on the transparent mailing labels. Because Vincent looks, Vincent looks almost the same as he does on the back to the front. I don't know, I'm just gonna kind of put him right here, just hanging out. And then Poe. The only thing about this is, is this is a pretty darn. Um, it's super graphic, so it will show through if you use the clear stuff it's gonna show through their their faces um, this one's not too bad because I, I picked a spot that wasn't too horrible so in lieu of that what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it on um, a backing first just because I want to use it here so I will put it on this piece of cardstock that. and then I will just cut him out there we go like so and he can just he can hang out on the other side from Vincent I bet they would have liked each other or they would have hated each other yeah I'm thinking maybe it would have been a volatile relationship <laughs> maybe it would have been like oh, I want it here mutual respect but you know you're driving me crazy, son. I have a feeling even Vincent would have driven me crazy. Now, Poe probably would have driven me crazy, too. They were both pretty eccentric. Well, and I can be pretty eccentric, so, I mean, I, if we're going to be honest here, I can be a piece of work. Okay. So, I'm going to grab this little novel quote, and it says, Of course, dear. And it's going to go right over here by Edgar just right like that oh, of course dear I thought it would show up better on the blue than it would have over here and then on this I'm gonna grab another one there we go this one Touch of glue on the back. This one's this one's kind of fun to decorate because there's really no rhyme or reason. You know, it's not like you have a an agenda to you know work out, which is kind of nice as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to put my little novel quote up here or down here on this corner. I will show you guys closer as we move along here 
And I think there needs to be maybe a definition up here. I mean, we'll be putting some things in here, but, but I think it still needs some, maybe, maybe a definition, not a quote. We'll do this one. So the concept journal that I'm working on is um, the next chapter of Serafina. So that will be that will be the next uh, concept journal that will be coming out. Um, those of you that are newer may not know Serafina, and so this needs something here. So um, if you want to know who Serafina is, go to my playlists. I will leave a, a link down below the, the video. And if you go to the playlist that is um, concept journal projects, you'll be able to find the Serafina series. And each, each one is a, the beginning of a, you know, it's like their chapters. So if you read them in order, it's probably helpful if you want to know Serafina's story. Okay, cut straight, Nick. I have a little, our little definition here. It says bookworm. So, um, yes, the saga continues. And I felt it was time. It's been a minute since we've, we've visited with Serafina. So, so you have some time to uh, read those stories if you've never read them and catch up if you choose to do so. Okay, so there was that and then that and then we can close that up and move over and to y'all. This one's pretty much, you know, kind of done, but we need to, we need to address, we need to address these. So, what are we, what, what are we gonna do? This needs some color. This is an old uh, Italian stamp. It is beautiful. And this one is French. So, I guess we could do, we could do a little Italian-French combo here. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. I wish they, um, wish they did stamps like they used to. They don't make, I don't know, they just, they were so, I don't know, they were, the ones now are, some of them are really super cool, for sure, but, um, I don't know, I just really like the, kind of the two-tone graphic ones. I just thought they were simple, but, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I like a lot of the old stuff that they don't do anymore, so. Such is life, right? I think that might be too thick for that area. So over here, um, we're gonna, we have this little area that we can decorate if we choose to do so. Oh, there was one from India. That one's beautiful, I didn't see that one. So what I think what I'm gonna do is I have this little one that says field guide. Let's trim that up a little bit. And we'll put that up at the top above the above the numbers here. Right up here. Oh, these little um they are it's it's just clear, you know, glue. You know, like hot glue. And I make these to put on, you know, packages. And so Underneath the glue is little teeny tiny flower punch outs of book pages and marbled paper and then a, like some fabric. So it's really cute. So I would like to put one over here. Perhaps, 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 not exactly sure where. Maybe this, is this, is this a sticker? <laughs> you a sticker? Yes, yes you are. Makes it easy when you can find one that's a sticker. Not that I don't have enough stuff sticking to my fingers at the moment. 
Hmm. Maybe this needs to go up here because this is kind of plain up here. And then down on this little definition of journey and that can go right above the window. And who knows, maybe in the final segment of the lap book, if you can believe it, um, where we just, you know, put everything in and decorate everything, um, we'll have something in here that has to do with, with the journey. Wouldn't that be ironic? So let me put some glue on the back of this. And I'm just going to put this right here. I'll have to put up a picture of my cat. She's at my feet again. And I keep promising to do that. So I will, I will do that. So you guys, those of you who don't know what she look, looks like, you can see her. She's down, she's down here rubbing on a box. So if you hear any extra sounds, it's, it's that. It's that, and she loves plastic bags. She will um, put them in her mouth, like wad them up in her mouth, and then walk through the house crying through it, or yelling, whatever you want. I, I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if she's crying or yelling or just talking. Who knows? She's a cat. There go. I like that one. And so, sometimes she's really, really loud. For a deaf cat, she is... She makes the most noise out of any cat I've ever had. So this is going to kind of just kind of catty corner over the top of that. And it came from uh, an old book. It says reasoned with her in vain. Because she must have been stubborn. Good for you, girl. You just be stubborn. Keep them guessing. Never let them see you sweat and whatever other cliche analogy you would like to insert. Okay. There's a train. There you go. Just for you guys. So let's... Okay. We have other fish to fry. <laughs> yes, that is her. Hi, Izzy. Oh, hold on. I gotta scratch its little back. My little back. My little back. I know how cookie is. How the cookie is. Oh, and she purrs super loud. Okay. And she sleeps above my head. Or on my husband's feet. One or the other. All right. Focus, Nick. Focus. That's been my problem today is the, is the lack of focus. I have two I have two modes. Either uh no focus or hyper focus. And those of you that have ADHD like I do will absolutely totally understand exactly what that is. Um hyper focus can be an can be an awesome thing or it can be, you know, it can be a curse too. Because, I mean, you can literally, literally just rabbit hole yourself into a frenzy. Portion. I'm trying to cut this off at the right place here. Um, you get so involved in something you forget to eat. And <laughs> I have gone like a whole day and I'm like, why am I so thirsty? Oh, well, I haven't had anything to drink today little English stamp with the queen. So let's use that ode to the queen here. She's trying to get a bag. Hold on. I'll put the stamp over the top. just down here like this and then here's my little pocket here I'm going to put I think this maybe this little name label sticker 
tab cut out thing. And it's going to go at the top on this side. Just like so. And then under here I can put something under here. And then we have our um, envelope. And I think what I want to do, let me find it. I've got some little tabs here. I think I wanted to add a tab to the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. I think I'll add it here. Just a little tab right like that. And then on this side, we have this little pocket. I am loving these definitions. I think we're just going to go to town on definitions today. This one is librarian and library. I'm just digging the definitions, man. Okay, what was I talking about? I totally like, whoo, it's gone, it's gone. I won't know until I <laughs> upload this video. What I did, what I was talking about. I gave the cat a bag and then I, I lost it. Oh, the hyper focus thing. I'll get it, I'll, I'll get it. You know, I, you know I get it, it just takes me a minute. But anyway, yeah, I need to set like an alarm that reminds me to eat and drink and you know, that kind of stuff. Would probably be a good idea. Okay, now I want something colorful that maybe peeks out down here at the bottom. This is, I mean, it's marble paper. It's kind of obvious, right? This was one of my very favorite sheets of marble paper. It was, um, I used it, what book did I use it in? I used pieces of it in a book. And this is just a little tiny scrap, a little strip that I have left. And I just love this one. And that's the thing about marble paper, you know, you only get one, one shot. It's hard to recreate. I'm just not cutting straight. Okay, that's better. Um, yeah, you only get the one shot, so. You can make one with the similar colors, but it, they'll never look the same. Unless you have like a commercial vat with, you know, all the correct combs and the all the paints mixed up according to formula and, you know, you get closer that way. Kind of reeks of effort. I probably will never do that. That was made with gouache paint. So it's got a beautiful, velvety, smooth wonderfulness to it. And on top of that needs to be something like this. Keep true to the dreams of thy youth. Okay. Right there. Right like that. So it can peek out underneath, underneath that. And this needs, needs something. It needs something. I know what it needs. Get a piece of washi tape. And, I don't know, which way do I want it? Maybe I want it this direction. So I had several people ask about the, um, the glue I use. And you will probably notice a lot of people using it because it is acetone base, which means it's not going to wrinkle your paper. Um, because it's not going to soak in and swell the fibers of your paper. So that's why we use it. And so it comes by different names. It's made by the, the Beacon Company. And this is their 3-in-1 Advanced Craft Glue. And I swear 
by all that is holy that it's the same thing as Fabri-Tac. Now, if you called Beacon, they're going to tell you, they're going to give you some story that it's not the same. But they smell the same. They feel the same. They work the same. So, walks, talks, acts like a duck, right? Yeah, it's a duck. So, I use them interchangeably because it, it doesn't matter to me. And um, uh, they're just really nice because they will not warp your paper, which is kind of, you know, kind of rocks your world, right? If it doesn't warp your paper, you know, we got time for that. So like we added all the other little, you know, all the other little elements, I'm going to just add in this little, this little envelope right here, just like that. Except I'm going to cut, snip the, um, the little corners here. All right, so let's be done with that. And this really doesn't need anything because it's a scrap sampler. You know, it's got its, it's got its own little, you know, deal going. Is that it? <gasps> are we done? No way. Are we, are we? I mean, we can add some, if I, if I like get a wild hair and want to add some more stuff as we decorate, I mean, as we fill it, you know, I'm, I might do that, but I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm good. I don't. You know, you can you can add as much or as little as, as you want. I mean, please don't let me stop you. If you want to add more, it's just all individual, you know, whatever floats your boater, right? Who am I to tell you what boater to float? Let me put this up here. Go. Just a little. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. A little Denison label up there. Okay. So let's go through this real quickly. So we added, first we added the little Odyssey tab and some definitions and some string and some just some little labels on there. And then we added the little book plate, the airmail label plans and to do and fragile and then over here we did the little copyright and the demo date and keep the book clean on that one and some beautiful stamps and we left those plain because you know they're gonna get stiff and then we added Edgar of course dear and Vincent with, well, you never know. And some definitions. I'm running out of arms. And then over here, this is not easy to hold. <laughs> I'm just gonna just let it do its thing. Okay, then over here, back out just a little bit. We've got our stamps and field guide and reasoned with her in vain with the book number journey and the little glue stamp and we added our travel stamps while i was rambling about europe and then on change hands this side we've got the name and we've got some definitions and the queen, the Denison label I just put there, and a little tab and our little flippity flappity envelope, and another definition, and some marble paper, and a little keep true to the dreams of thy youth. And that, as they say, is that because we had already done this one pretty much. We had already gilded this lily, so we don't have to gild that lily anymore. Oh my gosh, I have a mess. I have a mess. So the final episode, segment, whatever you want to call these things, we will just put in a bunch of ephemera 
and get this thing all jammed up with wonderful things. So I will get some stuff printed out and um, get that ready to rock and roll for the final episode. And hopefully my hands won't look so disgusting. Oh my goodness. Just nasty. I hope this comes off. I have somewhere to be tonight. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, guys, I hope you are all having a great week and I am busy working. Um, rest assured that if you have emailed me and you haven't received an answer, it's because I haven't gotten to it yet um, or a combo. So I apologize for my tardiness and I will get to those as soon as humanly possible. All right, kids, have everybody have a great night, um, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.